This is what can happen when an overprotective dad is a police officer. In Ohio, a shocking incident involving a police officer has emerged, raising concerns over misuse of power. John Kovac Jr., a Lorien officer, faced termination for an unjustified traffic stop of his daughter's boyfriend, Makai Coleman, detaining him without reason. This case highlights the importance of holding law enforcement accountable for their actions. Let's delve into the details of this distressing event, exploring the consequences faced by stupid cops when they take revenge. On April 16, 2018, Officer John Kovac from the Lorraine Police Department found himself parked near a residence on West 34th Street, staking out his daughter Caitlin's location. He had a dispute with her 18-year-old boyfriend, Makai Coleman, whom he didn't like. Frustrated by the lack of communication with his daughter, Kovac decided to take matters into his own hands. After tracing Caitlin's laptop to her friend's house, Kovac spotted Coleman's car and initiated a traffic stop by flashing his red and white lights. Coleman cooperated and sat in the back of Kovac's cruiser. I tell you get out of the car. I tell you get out of the car. Gloria Morales, the resident of the house where Kovac traced the laptop, came outside when she realized that two of her children were also in Coleman's car. Off camera, Kovac discussed searching Morales' home for his daughter's computer. Morales initially agreed, but then he threatened her, telling her he was going to give her daughter, who was also in Coleman's car, a $300 ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. Well, the situation escalated further when Morales suggested getting a warrant for the search. Kovac returned to Coleman's car and argued with Morales' daughter, threatening to ticket her as well. Gloria Morales stepped in to defend her daughter, leading to more tension. Kovac threatened to arrest Morales for disorderly conduct, and she mentioned calling 911 to make a complaint against him. Kovac warned her not to make a non-emergency call, but soon he noticed something surprising. He saw his own daughter, Caitlin, in the back of Coleman's car. Suddenly, Kovac's demeanor changed entirely. In my car. Go ahead, you guys are good. Ma'am, you can, they can go with you. My car. He dropped all accusations against Morales, his daughter, and allowed everyone in the car to leave without consequences. He even let Coleman, who was initially detained in the back of his patrol car, go free. Caitlin couldn't hold back her tears and screams, witnessing her dad's clear abuse of authority as both a parent and an officer. Coleman questioned Kovac about why he was taking Caitlin when she hadn't done anything wrong. Goodbye. In my car. You can't. You can't take me. I am 18. Goodbye. Kovac alleged that Caitlin had made suicidal remarks, but she vehemently denied it. Coleman defended Caitlin, asserting that she was an adult and had the right to make her own decisions. He asked Kovac for some evidence to support his claims, but Kovac seemed indifferent, stating that he was taking his daughter to a hospital and drove off. According to the internal investigation that led to Officer Kovac's termination from the Lorraine Police Department on May 11th, there were multiple reasons behind the decision. One of the key factors was Kovac's belief that his daughter, Caitlin, might harm herself. This belief arose after his ex-wife informed him that Caitlin and Coleman were engaged in sexual conduct at her home, leading to a confrontation and threats from Coleman. The investigation's report revealed that Kovac had called Coleman, threatening to take out warrants against him and interfering with his enlistment in the U.S. Army. Additionally, Kovac expressed negative opinions about Coleman, citing his previous arrest for marijuana possession, and disapproved of his daughter's decision to stay with him against her parents' wishes. These actions and findings from the internal investigation contributed to the decision to terminate Officer Kovac from the police force. Kovac stated that during a phone conversation with his daughter, she expressed, If I can't be with him, I don't want to be here anymore. He believed that his daughter was making a suicidal threat. However, Coleman told investigators that Kovac had previously threatened to use his authority to make their lives difficult, solely because he disapproved of their relationship. Also, at another location in the city, the video revealed that a woman had called 911 for help. Her boyfriend or husband had threatened her with a weapon, and she urgently needed officers to intervene and de-escalate the situation. Kovac was marked as available at that time, so dispatchers promptly called for his assistance. 
However, he failed to respond to the call for help, leaving the woman in a potentially dangerous situation without the immediate aid of law enforcement. The internal investigation conducted by Lorraine police exposed Kovacs' dishonesty when he falsely claimed that Coleman's vehicle had nearly collided with his patrol car. However, the footage clearly showed that Coleman's car was traveling at a normal speed, and Kovac failed to inform dispatchers that he was conducting a traffic stop. These findings highlight further misconduct and untruthfulness on Kovacs' part during the encounter. Well, right from the start, it was evident that Officer Kovacs' personal feelings had influenced his judgment during the encounter. While on duty, he was staking out his daughter and his emotions were clearly charged when he spotted her boyfriend's car. Kovacs' animosity towards Coleman became apparent when he said, We'll make up as we go. My car. We'll make up as we go. Yep. This, along with other instances captured on the dashcam footage, clearly violated the department's standards of conduct and policy. It's evident that Kovac allowed his grudge to cloud his professional judgment, leading to inappropriate actions during the incident. An inter-office memo stated that, due to the severity of Officer Kovac's violations, which amounted to gross misconduct and opposed a liability to the police department, the matter should be escalated to the Safety Service Director for Disciplinary Action. Police Chief Cell Rivera expressed that Kovac's actions were an abuse of authority and a serious deviation from appropriate protocol, going against the department's mission and values. Safety Service Director Dan Given referred the incident to County Prosecutor Dennis Will for review, leading to Kovac's immediate termination. The investigation report further revealed that Kovac had misused police resources to track his daughter's location, using her computer's IP address. This, along with his confrontation with Gloria Morales, who called 911, prompted the launch of the investigation. Another officer arrived at Morales' house, raising concerns about Kovac's actions and his apparent disregard for other urgent police matters. In a letter dated June 22, 2018, President Kyle Galenius of the Lodge expressed that they were disturbed by Kovac's actions, but felt obligated to provide him with fair and neutral representation, as requested by John Kovac himself. Glenenia stated that Kovac's actions constituted egregious misconduct and were unacceptable from any officer. Following his termination, Kovac sought unemployment benefits through the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, but faced a denial. The city appealed the decision, resulting in the cancellation of his benefits. Kovac attempted to regain the benefits through court, but Lorain County Common Pleas Judge Christopher Rogerthy ruled against him in June 2019. After failing to get his job back through arbitration, Kovac pursued the case in common pleas court but lost. Lenenius explained that overturning an arbitration decision is challenging, making it a high bar to achieve. Throughout the process, the union maintained a stance of providing representation to Kovac, despite being troubled by his actions. But the legal challenges ultimately did not favor Kovac's attempts to regain his position or unemployment benefits. Law enforcement officers are entrusted with upholding the law and ensuring public safety without bias or favoritism. When personal feelings interfere with their duties, it can erode trust in the police force and undermine the principles of fair and impartial policing. The consequences faced by Kovac, including termination and legal battles, reflect the severity of his actions and the need for accountability within law enforcement agencies. Police departments need to maintain high standards of conduct provide proper training, and enforce accountability. These measures prevent such incidents from occurring in the future and ensure the officers uphold their duty to serve and protect the public impartially.